Hello guys, now in this particular video, we'll be working on the loops. Okay, so basically today we will start with the for loop and actually there are different types of loops. But before that, let me first create the file that is the for loop.sh. So for loop.sh. Okay, so now we are done. Let me just add this shebang. Okay, so let me just first discuss about you the what is the loop. Suppose if you want to do some task that is the there that uh, like exists there is some kind of repetition of thing suppose uh like if you have watched the meme like uh, uh boyfriend send her girlfriend like i love you 100 times 100 times so what is this thing this is basically a loop okay so loop is nothing but you can say like in kind of definition like uh what you can say mm, iterations okay it's like doing one thing again and again and again okay so suppose let me first tell me with an example suppose uh in some cases like suppose if you got some punishment and you have to write sorry for a teacher and your teacher says like uh, you have to write the sorry a uh, hundred times and all those things or five times so uh, similarly what you will do uh, you will oh sorry you will do like this like eco sorry if you don't uh, know the loop and all those things you will write just like this sorry 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 and uh, like you will just simply copy and paste things okay so this is what is this this is the repetition of the same thing so this repetition is uh, managed by or uh, removed by the loops okay so basically there are the three types of loop that is the for loop while loop until loop okay i will be discussing all these uh, two loops in our further videos but now in this video we will be working only on the for loop okay so let's start with the first thing oh, but before that uh, i will create one array okay and uh, i will be working on that first okay so let me create an array and in this i will use the loop okay so i will just create with uh, some languages name like python c plus plus java and c and yeah like comma is not required okay so but before that let me just print the uh, these arrays so every i can like check everything is working fine or not okay my array and i will just provide asterisk here and i will just uh, give the certain permission for this file that is the tool ch mode plus x12 okay dot slash 12 okay so here you can see the power this uh, array is working fine okay and uh, so now what i will do i have to just uh, uh, print this array using the for loop okay how you can do it but before that let me tell you first about the syntaxes and all those things of for, for loop so the basic syntax for for loop is like this for parenthesis here the initialization will be there initialization here will be the condition if you know how the c programming or java programming then that or cpp so it's very easy for you to understand this okay but if you don't know then also you can get it right now okay and here will be the increment or decrement okay and the two curly braces like this okay so what is the, this is the uh, syntax for for loop okay so uh, let me tell you how the thing works okay so suppose uh, i want to print uh, sorry uh, like this number of times five times so i will uh, start with the uh, zero or one it's all upon you and i will provide the condition like uh, that uh, i will get one variable at i equal to zero and i will provide the condition that is i less than five and i plus plus okay so uh, let me just open up my paint so i can like you you should visualize that thing okay so where is text yeah so I will here simply i write on for loop that is i equal to zero i should less than um, six or five if you're starting for this one from zero okay so this is the for loop okay and i will just echo here the sorry statement okay so here now what you have to think is like how the things are working 
okay so let me just uh, do like this okay so how things are working basically so so when your loop will run so how it runs so it will change it will first assign i value 0 if i equal to 0 okay it will check the uh, condition so i here i will just define the titles for them uh, here i will do initialization here will be the condition and here will be the increment okay so why increment because here i am using the i plus plus it then is simply means it will increment increment the value of i by one okay so now here what i will do so you can see the one like right now there is i equal to zero okay so it will now first check the condition whether i is less than five this one so yeah zero is less than five so if condition is true it will print the sorry so here in this case 0 less than 5 condition is true okay and it will what it will do it will print okay so here I will do like print what it is printing so it is printing sorry and then again it will increment the value of i to i plus plus that is now the value of i will become 1 okay so here again i will give like here this i equal to one so again it will check whether one less than five yeah one less than five true it will print sorry okay and again it will increment the value to two okay now again loop will run for two like i will be two and it will check whether uh, two less than five yeah two less than five condition is true and it will print sorry again and the i will become increased by one from here like i will be three okay so similarly again i will be three here and it will check like three less than five yeah condition is true so what it will do like uh, it will print sorry okay and again the value of i will get increased by one that is four and again uh, now it will do i will be 4 and it will check uh, let me just increase this size here i equal to 4 okay and it will do whether 4 less than 5 yeah it's less than 5 condition is true and it will print sorry first and then it will increment the value of i to 5 okay and now i will become 5 and it will check whether 5 less than 5 so here condition is false and uh, what will happen loop will end okay and it will print sorry 5 times okay if you starting your loop from from uh, 0 okay so this is the simple uh, working of the for loop like how things are working so now let me just tell you about with the experiment part how you can get it okay so let me just open up this one and i will just uh, comment out these things okay and for loop and i will initialize the value of i from 0 to i less than 5 because i have to print 5 times i plus plus echo sorry okay just control s to save again let me run the script which number it is 12 okay it's not this one sorry Bara. yeah so here you can see five times sorry has been printed okay but what if you want uh, like if you do less than equal to five so in this case suppose uh, less than equal to five so it will print you uh, it will print six times so here you can see six times has been printed why why this happened because at this point now if there is less than equal to so here the condition is satisfied like yeah four five is less than equal to five so condition is satisfied satisfying and it will be true and sorry will get printed and then sorry will be printed and then i will be equal to six and now if you will check it will check the condition that is six less than five so that condition is false so in this case our loop will get end and uh, you will come out of the loop okay 
So in this way a uh, for loop works. I hope you got it and uh, uh, let me just tell you one more thing like uh, how things work and like there is also uh, some different syntax of for loop. Okay, so the different syntax is this like this uh, for uh, war suppose uh, you have to provide some list like uh, uh, like you can do like this for i in and you will provide her list like 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 you can do like this also okay or you can provide some any other uh, variables also like uh, you can provide a string names also and all those things and here you will just do do okay and uh, in this what you will do i will just print like this echo iteration colon and here I will just write the I okay and then you will write here done do done okay control s to save I will just comment out this this loop and again I will just run this script okay so here you can see the iteration I is printed not the value okay so at that point i will just provide the dollar okay yeah so here you can see iteration one let me just uh, clear this screen and again run the script so here you can see one two three four five six seven eight nine ten okay so in this way also you can run loop suppose uh, if you want to do some operation of if one comes or like suppose i provide here some different list like the name list suppose i wish i wish okay so here uh suppose if you want to uh do like this uh, if uh, and the condition which you will give like dollar i equal equal to i wish so in that in this case what you should do like uh, then echo uh, what should we echo like um, you can echo like yeah uh, like this Ayush is a good boy okay and you have to just uh, uh, write uh, what you can say close the if condition I will save it and I will just run this so here it is showing some kind of error like uh, unexpected token then at line number 29 uh, wait a minute i have whether uh let me write like this first and i will do it in the colon not colon okay why it's showing error i'm not getting Uh, let me just uh, uh, if if dollar i equal equal to i wish then echo fee yeah it's correct uh, uh, wait a minute okay so uh, basically I got it so here uh, you have to just provide one space so I was doing just some silly mistakes so let me again run this script uh, uh, clear dot slash slash yeah so here you can see uh, sorry which script I ran I have to run 12 sorry 12 okay so here you can see I use is a good boy so if dollar I equal equal to I use then it is printing like yeah I use is a good boy okay so I can do write write uh, write like this like dollar I okay so it will also run so I use is a good boy okay in this case you can see so uh, basically you can uh, what you, you I was saying uh, you can just uh, uh, initialize or write your for loop in this syntax also okay so uh, if you are familiar with the c programming or cpp then that is very easy for you and if you are for uh, same like familiar with python then this one is also fine for you okay so uh, now let me tell you first about uh, how you can print the array elements okay so in our previous class we have learned about array so here you can see i've created array here let me just create it uh, below i will comment out this and uh, 
I will just create array and I will just add some other language also like uh, Kotlin I will add uh, and uh, some other frameworks like react uh, JavaScript uh, shell scripting okay so this is my array okay so now I have to print this array okay using for loop so how will we, you will print an array using for loop so basically we will need to define the uh, condition like array should be less than the size minus one so here the, what is the size of the array that is one two three four five six seven eight so zero to seven we have to do so in this case you will use the normal loop that we use in for in other programming language that i equal to zero i should be less than seven and i plus plus and we will just uh, echo the indexes okay so how you will do it my add a name and I will provide the index as I and we are good to go now let me just run this script yeah here you can see all the array elements have been printed in this in the same order okay so uh, that's it for today guys I hope you liked it uh, like how the for loop works and you like this representation also like everything should be clear for you if you have any problem then please ask to me Okay, so that's all for this guys and I will add this code in our github repository. You can access from there and provide the link in the description. So thank you guys for watching this video and I will meet you in the next video. Thank you.